Hi everybody, back again with another video. Um, it's been a little while since I've done one. I think the last one I've done was the Harley Quinn. Kit bashed Harley Quinn that I've done, I just put together. Uh, thanks to Dean Knight. Um, his figure that he'd done on his channel inspired me to do my own. And I've changed this one up as well. Um, what I'm not going to do on my channel anymore is I've got a, quite a few figures that have come through, but they're figures that you've seen on videos probably two, three months ago from other people that get them virtually the day they're released. I don't bother about um, getting them straight away. I'd rather wait, um, order them from Big Bad Toy Store or Sideshow and get them a little bit later than everybody else. Um, so I didn't want to keep making videos on figures that you've seen so many times before on videos. And also I want to cut down my video length as well to around about 10 minutes per video. So what I'm going to do is, um, like the video I'm doing here, is figures that I've just tweaked and changed a little bit. And also um, I'm going to do obviously update videos on my collection and mini updates so like groups of figures so that is what i'm going to do from now on so you'll see more of that later so what have we got here well this is the hot tail hot uh, hot toys abigail whistler from blade trinity it was a good figure um, it had its flaws mainly the body shape didn't like it very much and i didn't like the trousers on it either uh, they didn't quite fit right and it was uh, the trousers were the same color as the top here which is like uh, this brown and it was pleather stuff um, which we all know if you're living in the wrong climate will crack and break up so i've just changed a few things so i'm going to tell you exactly what's on this figure obviously it's the hot toys head sculpt um, the skin tone is a little bit darker than what you're seeing on camera here it's just the lights making it lighter the body underneath is a Fison or TB League, as they're now known, uh, mid bust tanned body. It's just uh, anatomically better, uh, more of a, a fit to Jessica Beale. The jacket is Hot Toys. The little belt here is also Hot Toys. Um, with the original one, you did have um, belt the eyes across the top of the belt, the uh, the trousers so that the belt went through it uh, with this one you haven't got it which isn't a problem really the strapping crutch strapping is actually uh, new this is real leather the trousers are a um, leathery type elasticated sort of material that fit beautifully on the Fison body. It shows all the, the actual leg itself, uh, whereas the original version was just too baggy, um, too straight. You couldn't see the shape of the legs. This time you can, and it just fits a little bit better on the feet as well. The boots, obviously these are the actual Hot Toys boots. Um, they do fit a little bit loose on the TB League body. Um, so if you want a more solid fit, you might want to put a little bit of blue tack inside the boot just to hold it a bit straighter. Uh, the very dusty base is obviously Hot Toys. The hands are Hot Toys as well, and you've got the wrist blade there. Underneath this sleeve, you do still have the um, black sh uh, arm strapping. The bow, which has seen better days. Um, I don't know if anybody else who's got this figure has got the same problem. The elastic is just stretched completely out of shape and it's just as you can see it's all got tied up and it's all gone loose so I will have to probably change this at some point as well. Um, I've also managed to put the um, compound bow holster on the figure as well it's quite tight so but it does go on there. Moving on round uh, well, we've got the little necklace well it's not necklace it's just a bit of string that she has tied around her neck that's from hot toys as well and the quiver and the arrows are obviously from hot toys as well uh, same as the gun that's actually in the holster there and the arrow in her hand so it is essentially still all hot toys other than the body and the trousers and the um crutch leather strapping which you can see there in the back side is a lot better than the hot toys one the hot toys one um it stuck out quite, it was quite pronounced, it stuck right out and it just looked completely off. I mean, Jessica Bill um, has got, 
you know, pardon my French, one hell of a peachy bum. And this one just um, shows it off a lot better, makes it a little bit more accurate than the Hot Toys version. Um, I'd love to see Hot Toys revisit this, this line of figures and give us um, a more up-to-date Jessica Bill, but I doubt they're going to do it. Um, I still have the um, ultraviolet bow as well that she has. I might swap it out from time to time on this figure. But I think overall it just looks a lot better. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in here. Hopefully the light will darken so you can get a better look at the skin tone. And I'll give you a quick sort of head to toe look. But that is pretty good Jessica Biel head sculpt for the time that this figure was made by Hot Toys, which was quite a few years ago now. So certain angles there, that quite a good likeness to Jessica. Um, should they have gone with rooted hair? Um, I have seen some customs of rooted haired figures and it does look pretty good. So I'm, I'll keep looking on eBay and forums for people that are doing those. Um, I haven't had any issues with the pleather breaking on mine because here living in the UK, the climate's pretty good. So fingers crossed, shouldn't really get that problem like you get over in the, in America and places like um, Australia and the really hot places. But I think you agree those trousers do fit beautifully on this body. This is the um, more athletic um, TB League body that I'm using. I think it's the one that um, is uh, that they used on the um, oh, what's her name? Vampirella figure. But it's just a tanned version. It says tanned, but it looks pretty pale to me. There's that horrible compound bow. I will change that. I have seen some bows on eBay, uh, military ones that are similar. I'll probably swap it out. Oh, the other thing that I did change, um, how I missed that, I don't know, is the T-shirt. This isn't the Hot Toys version. This is um, a different version. I actually got these from um, a Facebook group. Um, there's somebody on there who was selling these parts. He actually makes them custom. And uh, I just ordered it through him. So it's more of an accurate top than the Hot Toys version. Yeah, I'll just move her on round to the back so you can see this. Lovely peachy backside. And these bodies are absolutely superb for posing. And I found that clothing like this, which is quite tight on a lot of figures, it's difficult to move. With these TB League bodies, it just seems to, um, doesn't hinder it at all. The only problem you're gonna get is this brown will stain the body underneath. Um, but I shall keep this figure as it is. This is now going to be my Abigail Whistler in my collection. So yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think of the slight little upgrade that I've done on this. Um, the next video I've got coming, I'll just give you a quick little preview if I zoom in. Uh, it's a little bit far for it to focus properly, but that's just a little teaser of what is coming up next. So let's just get the colour back in. There we go. The actual um, colouration on the skin of the face isn't too far off the body, so this one does work. So yeah, there you go. Um, hopefully this... Uh, give you maybe a little bit of inspiration to uh, if you've got Abigail Whistler yourself to spice her up a little bit more so until my next video as always thanks for watching if I do upgrade this any more in the future I will do a video on that so take care